Psalms 41 says, Blessed is he who has regard for the weak, for the Lord delivers him in time of trouble. That reminds me of the story of this guy who was going through a time of trouble. He, has, he was about broke. He had 23 bucks left. His job was a failure. His relationships were a failure. And he had no prospects. He was like, man, I don't know what I'm going to be eating next week. And so because he only had a little bit of money, he said, you know what? I'm going to go to an all-you-can-eat restaurant and just pig out and eat as much as I can and try to store on some weight or whatever because I don't know what I'm going to be eating next. And as he was eating in this restaurant, the door opened and in walked this gorgeous woman. And the man looked just to, I mean, he noticed her, right? And he's like, I wonder who her date is. And it turned out her date was a kid, like an 11-year-old boy, but he was dressed to the nines in like a three-piece suit. He held open the door for this lady. He pulled out the chair for her. And as they were eating, this guy was like, man, that's got to be her son. And he's taking his mom out on a date. That is so classy. Well, after he finished eating, he paid his bill and he walked over to the table and introduced himself. And he didn't really even look at the lady. He just talked to the kid and he said, you know, I've been watching you and you're really treating your lady well. You're pulling out the chair for her. You're opening the door for her. And the kid was like, well, it's my mom. And the guy's like, you know what? That's even classier. Way to go. I was really impressed that you're taking your mom out on a date. And then the boy kind of looked down. He's like, well, you know, I'm only 11 and, you know, I don't have any money. So like, you know, she's paying for everything, so it's not really a date. And without thinking, this guy reached into his pocket and pulled out all of the money he had in the world, like 16 bucks, and he put it in the kid's hand and he says, yeah, you do. You can treat your lady right tonight. And he walked out of that restaurant on cloud nine. Now, when he walked in, he just was in a dark place. He was looking at all of his problems and feeling sorry for himself. And he's like, I only got $23. What am I gonna do? Life just seemed hopeless. But when he gave this kid the rest of his money and he walked out literally completely broke, he felt so good and supercharged because he realized, you know what? Life is not about getting, it's about giving. And that night he went home and he made a plan and he's like, you know what? I can, I can fast for a week. People have done that before and he, he kind of knew what he was going to do next. And what's crazy is the very next day in the mail, he got a check for $1,000 from a friend who had been owing him money for a while but had never returned any of his calls. And at that day, that guy realized, you know what, I think because I paid for this kid's meal, because I looked after for someone kind of below me, that that good came right back. The verse says, he who has regard for the weak is blessed and the Lord delivers him in times of trouble. That man who paid for that kid's meal is now a billionaire. He inspires millions across the world. His name is Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins and David both figured out that if you take care of the weak and you look after someone else, then God's going to step in and deliver you. So I want to challenge you today to live a life of courage, live a life of self-sacrifice, and live to give. And God will deliver you from your time of trouble too. God bless.